evening, America. How my beautiful people doing tonight? All right. So, uh, you know, I've been in the uh, fitness industry uh, for years, over five years now. Um, been into it myself for close to seven. And, uh, you know, after working with client after client after client, I begin to realize uh, a lot of different things uh, that show up for them uh, when they're trying to lose weight. I want to talk about what I believe is the number one underlying issue um, that prevents people from losing weight. And you're probably dealing with this as well. And so um, based on how we've lived our lives and we've continued to go through the motions in life, just doing things without even thinking, we've created these old patterns, right? And these, these basically ha habits of sabotage. And we've got to break these if we are going to actually have success losing weight. And so what am I talking about, right? So a girl breaks up with her boyfriend. And you, the traditional thing, right? She goes for a tub of ice cream. And so she goes for this tub of ice cream, but what is she actually feeling? She's feeling lonely, unwanted, uh, maybe unconfident. She just wants to be comforted, right? She wants to feel better. And so she goes for the tub of ice cream and she eats the whole thing, not ever asking herself questions or actually realizing that it's taking her further away from her goals and what she's actually trying to feel. Right. And so she's looking to feel supported and loved and feel good about herself. And then when the ice cream is gone, she actually is carrying around more guilt, more shame, feels like shit. And she's further away from where she wanted to be. So what can we do about this? Right. I'm sure that like you've been stressed out at work and then automatically went to the vending machine to go get a candy bar or something like that. Um, and then halfway through it, you're like, what, well, what am I doing? Why am I eating this? Right? It's because we don't ask ourselves questions. So awareness is all about asking yourself questions. Be curious like a child. Ask, 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 ask. Okay? So every single time that you guys go eat, you get to ask yourself this one question. Is this taking me further away from my goals or is it bringing me closer to my goals? And once we become aware and we ask ourselves this question, we can make more conscious decisions, right? We can make better decisions geared towards our goals. Because if you guys don't stop and become aware, the emotional connection that you have to food will eat you alive, literally. It will eat you. If you do not break this emotional connection to food, you have no hope. It doesn't matter. A diet's a band-aid solution, right? Because if you're going to get stressed out and go through certain emotions and you're still going to go through the motions and you're going to grab the food and you're going to eat it, you're going to fucking sabotage yourself. What is your relationship to food, right? Marcy was a brilliant, is a brilliant woman and taught me a lot of these concepts. And the fact of the matter is, is that when somebody goes and sees a trainer, if they don't fix the root cause of the problem, when they're done working with the trainer, they're going to fall right back into the old patterns. It's all internal, you guys. It's all internal. So we get to become very aware and continue to ask ourselves questions. I notice that I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling stressed. I feel like there's a lot to do. Well, is eating this candy bar actually going to bring me the feeling that I want? Okay, well, how do I create the feeling that I want? Okay, now I get to implement action steps to create that feeling. It's all about asking questions. It's all about becoming aware. This is Tyson James Lee reminding each and every one of you to be about that action boss.